is question number 3d here p is given 5 and alpha is given 210 degrees yes. so here now we can do here uh, this is here given p alpha 210 degree now we can write here the equation of we have to find the equation of the line okay if p is equal to 5 and this is alpha 210 degree equation the equation of line is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p and now we put x as it is cos alpha is here 210 degree plus y sin alpha value 210 degree is equal to p p value is answer 5 so put here 5 now this is equal to here x 2 uh, this is here 210 degree yes so for 210 degree what you can do here divide 210 by okay 10 by 90 degree how much we get here 9 3 are 27 9 2 is 18 okay 9 2 is 18 180 degree 9 to the 81 80 degrees or 0. How much is this? 11. 11. 11 minus 8. 3 and this is 2 1 minus 1 0. So 30 degrees. That means we can add here 90 to the 80. This is what? Cos 180 degree and then plus this element okay plus 30 degree. Right? Okay, so 180 plus 30 is equal to 110 degree. Here plus y sine again 210 degree can be written as 180 degree plus 30 degree is equal to this is 5. Correct? This is rough. Okay, you can do here rough. Now you can now write here this x and this is 180. So for 180, cos will be cos only. If this was 90, then cos uh, cos would be what sine, but this is 180, so cos will be cos. And this 30 degree and now see the cast rule this is the cast cast rule cast rule tells what 180 plus 30 means this is 0 this is 90 degree this is 180 degree so plus 30 means it is comes down okay it comes down if minus then it comes in second quadrant plus means it will cross this third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan and cos is positive so this will be what minus minus cos 30 degree plus y again here sine 180 so for sine 180 sine will be sine because this is 180 okay if 90 then sine will be cos 180 so sine will be sine and this 30 degree and we know that this 180 plus 30 is where third quadrant see that this is 0 90 180 plus 30 this is so plus means it comes in third quadrant and in third quadrant only tan is positive tan and cos is positive and this sign will be negative so put here now minus okay is equal to 5 now here minus into x minus x cos 30 degree this is minus plus minus y sin 30 degree is equal to 5 now here you can put minus x into cos 30 degree value is root 3 by 2 minus y sin 30 is 1 by 2 is equal to 5 here is now minus x into root 3 is minus root 3 x by 2 minus y into 1 y by y by 2 is equal to 5 ok this implies here here is this is the like term like ok like fraction okay 2 2 both sides so this 2 is common or this is the fraction this is the lcm and now this is minus root 3 x and this minus y is equal to this is 5 as it is now this can be written as minus root 3 x minus y is equal to 2 5 how much 10 now we can what we can do here now take this to that side right side so this minus will be what plus root 3 x okay and this minus y will be that side what plus y and 10 is in the right side only so plus 10 is equal to 0 okay this is the solution let me check the book 
How much answer is in the book? Um, four uh, D number okay. Root three x plus y plus ten is equal to zero okay. So okay, this solution, this is the solution and answer is correct according to your book. So okay. If you have any doubts, you can you can comment to me. Okay, but no comment. Simple sentence that they were Nepali. I'm explaining what I'm saying.